morning, Robert Morris University. Good morning. Let me hear you say it back. Okay. I see we have a lot of happy, smiling faces. I do know that you have a wonderful business week, and I love your theme, engagement and innovation. How many of you are ready to be engaged this morning? Raise your hand. I should see every hand. Okay. As you know, my name is Dr. Hollis Batista. And I am the District 13 Director here. And my district's theme is called District 13 Has Pride. Pride is an acronym. I love acronyms. It stands for personal responsibility in delivering excellence. And my members are very engaged in delivering excellence, and they come up with plenty of innovative ideas. And that's what my team today is going to talk to you about, about being engaged and innovative. I want to share with you a story about this gentleman that's on the screen. His name is Dr. Ralph C. Smedley. Dr. Smedley started Toastmasters. It was a great, innovative project that he wanted to do. Dr. Smedley worked at a YMCA, and he worked with a lot of businessmen and they communicated all of their ideas. They also talked about their business endeavors. And Dr. Smedley thought, well, they're a great group of men, but perhaps they could improve their communication skills and leadership skills. So he thought of an innovative idea, bringing Toastmasters to the YMCA. Now, the first unofficial Toastmaster club started in 1905. So my math majors, do your math. And the official meeting started in 1924. And now I want to give you some facts about Toastmasters. Toastmasters, the headquarters, is in Rancho Santa Margarita in California. The organization's membership exceeds more than 340,000 members and a little over 15,900 clubs, and we are located in 142 countries. What an innovation. And if Dr. Smedley was here today, he'd be so proud because that was one of his visions, to spread the word about Toastmasters. And that's exactly what has happened. Now, you might be wondering, well, why should I join Toastmasters? Why is Dr. Hollis standing here talking about Toastmasters and engagement and innovation? Well, if you look at the screen, you'll see the features, benefits, and value. And all of you can get a lot of information from this in your coursework, when you graduate and you're out seeking a job from employers, you'll know that the features is, is that it's self-paced, it's flexible, unlimited personal growth, and the value to the organization, no matter what organization you belong to, no matter what corporation you belong to, employee goal achievement. You'll also do a lot of speech writing and presenting. Because in order to be a good communicator, you have to know what you want to talk about. So you have to create a speech. 
you have to present that speech. And I'm sure many of you are very familiar with that because in your coursework, I bet you have to stand in front of your class and do presentations. How many of you have done presentations in your classrooms? Raise your hand. Wonderful, and I know you've probably done a wonderful job, but Toastmasters will help you improve your communication and speech writing and presentations. I'm not gonna read all of those, but you can see benefits, critical thinking, value, clear communications, having the confidence, finding your voice. You know, I know I've, I've been in education for quite some time, and I've talked to students in high school and college, and the one thing that they tell me is, I don't know if I'm confident enough to stand up, especially in front of my peers. I don't know if I know what to say. Well, Toastmasters will help you learn and help you find your confidence and find your voice. And if you look at some of the other things, we have fun in our clubs with table topics. And all that is is speaking off the cuff. And you might say, well, why do I need to do that, Dr. Hollis? The reason is because when you get that one moment that you wanted to meet your professor to talk about a special innovative idea, or when you're on your job and you get that one moment to talk with a supervisor, a CEO, a CIO, CFO, you have to be ready. You have to be ready with that off-the-cuff speech because you've been trying all along to meet with this person and now you have the opportunity. And table topics and Toastmasters will prepare you for that in the moment, off the cuff speech. And in general, if you look at all of these benefits, it enhances you, not only as a student here, but when you do get your job, also in your personal life. In case you're involved in a team sport, you probably need to communicate a lot of things in your team sport or any community activity, even at home with your parents. I know I have uh, relatives that I often hear the young people say, but you don't understand. You don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I'll tell you what, Toastmasters may help you get that point across and make sure that your parents or whoever you're talking to, even your teachers, your instructors, help them to understand what you need. Okay. Here are some more features and benefits and value. Just take a look at all of those. You get to participate in meeting roles. Opportunity to conduct meetings. Look at the benefits. Time management skills. The three of us have to be cognizant of the time here because after this session, you need another session in here. So I told James, I said, you know, Toastmasters really love to talk, but we will try to keep on time. So that's very important, especially when you get your jobs. You want to run your meetings effectively and stay on time. Relationship building, that's very important. Some of you are marketing majors and others are business majors. Well, no matter what major you're in, you have to build relationships. And Toastmasters is all about building relationships. Now, there are several types of clubs that you can join in Toastmasters. There is a community club, corporate club, college, government agencies, religious, and online. 
My home club is a community club. It's called the City of Bridges. And it's located in Robinson Township at Eaton Park. And that means anyone can join from a corporation. If you just want to learn how to be a better speaker, it is an open club. I have quite a few corporate clubs. I have, for instance, Eaton, and our speaker, Tom, will be presenting to you FedEx, Bayer, Covestro, Mylan Pharmaceutical. I can keep naming them. And the reason we have those corporate clubs is because corporations understand the importance of being an effective communicator. Also, corporations want you to be great leaders. You may say, well, I don't know. I'm in the IT department. I, I really don't need to interact or be a leader. Oh, yes, you do. You really need to be able to communicate and lead a group of people, no matter what area you are in, no matter what job you will eventually have. Those are important skills. We have quite a few college clubs. I hope to have one here. And we have uh, clubs at Seton Hill, Pitt. We have clubs at West Liberty College in West Virginia. We have government agencies. I know I have an FBI club in West Virginia. And there are religious and online clubs. So when you do leave school, graduate, you'll still be able to participate in a Toastmaster club. You can find it wherever you work or in your community. Now I want to take, I want you to take a special look at the notable corporate clubs that I have listed here. These are a little uh, more high level clubs that have been established in these corporations. I don't need to read them to you, but some of you may work for one of these clubs. And they will be looking for great communicators and great leaders. Now you're probably wondering, well, how do I become a better communicator and a better leader? Well, Toastmasters has educational and leadership tracks. And these are the names of all the advanced communicator uh, manuals. There's the entertainer speaker. You can learn how to speak to inform public relations. I know many of you probably have taken public relation courses, facilitating discussions, specialty speeches, and I'm not going to name them all. But each and every one of those manuals will help you be a better communicator and a better leader. And you might think, well, oh, I don't know about storytelling. Well, I have a great presenter that's going to tell you how storytelling will help you be engaged and an innovator. Toastmasters is continuing to be a great innovator and engaging their members. They are on the cutting edge of starting a new program called Pathways. Pathways is our newest innovation program to help all of our members become better communicators and better leaders.